week we started to look at the pelican variation. We analyzed the introducing moves and we ended the episode in this position where the Sveshnikov variation is to be introduced by Black's B5. Alfred, what happens now after Black's B5? Besides the obvious threat B4, which forks the knights, the move also blocks the white A3 knight from getting to the C4 square, effectively locking the knight to the A3 square. White is forced to act and can here play either knight d5 or bishop takes on f6. In this week's episode, we'll analyze bishop takes on f6, the move which I myself recommend. Black is supposed to play g takes f6 here, but if the queen takes, white can punish black with knight to d5. The now threatened queen is forced to retreat to d8 in order to protect from the white threat knight to c7 check with a fork and white answers with c4. If black will play b4 in this position, white will get the upper hand after queen to a4. Black plays bishop to d7 to protect the c6 knight, and white plays knight to b5, threatening a check on c7. If black now takes the knight, black loses since white now will be able to take the rook on a8 with the queen, and after black's recapture, white plays knight to c7 check followed by king to e7 and knight takes on a8, leaving white with a strong material advantage. If black instead of playing b4 plays knight to e7, a capture on e b5 follows and knight to d knight takes on d5 is played by black. White does here capture on d5 with the queen and black answers by playing bishop to e6, which is fo followed by queen to d2, d5, b takes on a6, bishop takes on a3, and bishop to b5 check, giving white a clear advantage. Black can of course avoid these dire continuations by playing g takes on f6 instead of recapturing with the queen. White is still playing knight to d5 here, but black is here torn between two possible continuations. Either black play plays f5 or bishop to g7. F5 was long considered the only possible move in this position. Later on, the move bishop to g7 has become more popular though. The th plan behind the, b the bishop move is to enable the possibility to play knight to e7 and removing the powerful white d5 knight before playing f5. If knight to e7 is played before bishop to g7, white can take an f6 with the knight, ending the game since it is a checkmate. Today though, we'll analyze what will happen after f5 before bishop to g7. For white to take on f5 is not recommended by me, since that would develop the black bishop and totally resign the center to black. Instead white is to play bishop to d3, which is followed by bishop to e6, castle king side and bishop to g7. The position is quite amazing, both parties have their strengths as well as their weaknesses. Black has a really strong presence in the center, but his position is quite holy, so to say. While white has a well-developed position, except for the knight on a3, of course. We will see you again next week with a new episode when we will continue with analyzing this variation. So see you then!